we're out here on the river and we are headed on a trip to our cabin. We are about halfway there. We've got another 30 plus miles to go on this river. It's a beautiful day out here. We got lucky. We're hoping to do some fishing when we get there. We came out here probably about a month ago to the cabin for the first time this season and there was actually still ice up there. We were a little surprised. The river was much lower. It's a lot higher now. It changes a lot and we've had kind of like a warm spring where things have been melting and it's causing the rivers to be high. So it makes it a little more challenging for boating out here. You can't really see what's submerged under the water, but it's a nice day and we have got to keep going to get there. Okay, we made it. Not quite all the way, actually. We still have a little bit more to go. We're at the challenging part of the river up to our place. And there's a lot of rocks here. So we're gonna see if we're gonna have to do what we usually have to do, which is get our waders on and get out of the boat and actually walk it up. It's a few hundred yards, so it's not the easiest thing to do. We may be able to ride the boat up like last time, but I think we kind of got lucky because the water was high, so we'll see. I'll fly on top if you're ready. I swear you were going over rocks right there. Were you not? Well, I gotta say, that was pretty pleasant. Been up to this cabin a bunch of times and that went really good today. We pushed up about halfway up that little creek, got to a deep spot, we hopped in the boat, motored up, didn't hit a single rock, and that's the hardest part. So I think we're about three miles from the cabin. We got one little sketchy part to go through. We're almost there. You don't want to fish here? You want to fish after John Blake? Yeah. Well, we are seeing pike in the water from the boat on the way in, and I had a feeling it was gonna be a good uh, pike fishing trip. First cast on the little rubber mouse. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. The last time we took the boat out, I believe we were out hooligan fishing, we noticed a lack of power in the boat. It was kind of revving up really high, and it just didn't seem like it had full power. So after investigating it, our impeller sleeve was kind of gouged and they need to be smooth to get full power. So we put a new one in and we're kind of trying to take it easy on the boat today because they're expensive to replace. So we're pushing up the second rapid. Oh, I'm hitting that and we're almost there. Check out this flower bouquet I've picked. Really cool flowers. I've never seen that white one before. It's like a water plant. Eric and I couldn't resist the opportunity to go for a swim. It's probably in the 70s, low 70s out here, but it always feels really hot when you get out here. It takes us about two hours to get to this point, and then this whole process takes like another hour. So we're almost there, and we're going to go fishing. 
that was the, the main purpose. Do you want to get up? Come on. Well, I think that's a sign that I should try my baby duck lure. So I'm going to put it on. I'm surprised she has that many. I'm surprised she has that many too. She has like a full load. That's pretty crazy. There's like 12 right there. Well, where, how come the pike haven't eaten them yet? That looks pretty similar to one of those little baby ducks. Uh -huh. See that from the bottom? That's a black mallard is what they call it, I think. Let's see. Okay, we stopped a lot this trip. I think it's been like six hours and we finally got here. There's a lot of growth, like grass and bushes. So we're gonna bushwhack up there. Hopefully there's no trees down, but we brought the chainsaw in case there's any down. Bo, come. Bo, come on. This one? Ben and I are down here hanging out with thousands and thousands of mosquitoes. Tis the season for them. It's mid-June and this is when they like to come out. Come on. We're going to go up to the cabin, see if Eric's up. I know he was taking a nap and see if we can do some fishing. Tis the season for bluebells. Let's give these a try. Those are good, they taste like honeysuckle. So the plan with this trip and fishing, well, there's always hopes of catching a really big fish. That's what we're always after. We wanna catch a huge pike. 40 inches or bigger is what we're after, but we're gonna catch some food. We wanna have some pike to eat out here. We also wanna bring maybe like two or three, maybe four pike home, because we have plans back there for that. So we're gonna head on the boat tonight and we're gonna see if we can catch anything. Okay. We're out here on a lake near our little cabin and we're fishing for the pike in the weeds. So this is a What's that called? A crankbait. So these dive down really deep and this is gonna get caught in the weeds. So I'm gonna open up our little box and see what I'm see what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the mouse. You're using the mouse is already on there. I might use the other mouse. The other mouse is a little different. Okay. Let's see if we can catch one arrow. We gotta eat. We're having burgers tonight. Oh. No, I did not hear it. Oh, it's talking too much. 
Yeah, we're not in the weeds enough. How about I get us along in the weeds a little more? I think it's a little stiffer today for some reason. Not this and this. You notice that? The steering wheel? It does? Uh, I think it did. This is pretty nifty. It's just the timing. You got it? He's, he's there. He's small. That would be what's going on. Tell you what, he created a big old splash for a small fish, huh? Yeah. What size is that on the little one? It's pretty big. Oh. They're over there. Oh, let him get it. He's attacking it. Yeah. They're tiny, though. They're really small fish. Oh, he was just I look like he was attacking it. First fish for me. Oh, I always catch the little ones. Look at him. Little cutie. Whoa, he's gone like a shark. They're small over here. We gotta go over to where the big ones are. So the backstory behind this is that Eric and I came out here a year ago. I think it was a little over a year ago actually. And we saw the great big one. The great beast actually. We don't know if it was 40 or 50 inches or what it was, but we call it the human thigh because it was as round as a human thigh. And since then we've been thinking about it a lot. So we brought a lot of big lures. We've tried very hard and we're hoping to catch that particular big fish. There's a lot of them out here though. They're just smaller, huh? I think it's a little tiny one. That's uh, bigger than the one I got. Yeah. We need to find a bigger fish. I got him on the, the Rapala. Crankbait. That's a nice bat. It caught off. I love this frog. Oh, he totally like mangled it because it never gets caught in weeds and the fish are always biting it, but I hate it because it's so hard to hook them. I tried bending my hooks out a tiny bit more like that way because they were kind of stuck into the frog, but man. He was a nice fat little. That eater. was a good one. That was an eater I for sure, finished. man. We are going to starve tomorrow, so. No, we won't starve. It's Fishing is better than the last time we came here because we didn't get any bites. We're getting a lot of strikes, a lot of action, a lot of small fish though. So let's keep trying. It's still fun. I'm bring him to the boat. Sick of losing. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> that one actually hit pretty hard. Oh, nice little pike. Mm hmm. Well, we have quite the predicament. We have no fish and we planned on fish tomorrow for dinner. So that's a bummer. Hopefully we can catch something tomorrow. It's phenomenal out here. It's like such beautiful weather. So that's nice, but we're going to head back soon. I think it's getting close to 9 PM. So we're going to head back and cook up some dinner if we can't have any luck out here. Tried everything in the Tupperware tonight. I think we're going to come back out tomorrow and see if we can get one, but we are going to go eat burgers.
We're using our little barbecue again. I love this thing. Got moose burgers, but these are actually moose chorizo. So there's a little bit of pork fat in there and the chorizo seasonings, but we're eating them like hamburgers. And this is the last of our ground moose meat. And I think we got like one roast left, so running low. All right, we've got our buns for dinner. And then we have a whole bunch of salad that we made. Just some things to put on top we brought. And then we're also putting some of the hooligan that we dried and smoked. It's really good broken up in there. Could be a lot. Decker. Makes me even more motivated to catch a fish for tomorrow since we have nothing else to eat. <laughs> well, couldn't ask for a more beautiful night. Pretty good first day at the cabin. I'm hoping for some fish tomorrow. We're gonna sit out here and enjoy the lake for a little longer. It's probably about 10.30 p.m. now, and we're gonna hit the sack, because we're dead tired. Check that out. That is our breakfast. Eric woke me up this morning and said we must go fishing. So I think it's 8 a.m. and we've got, well, it's probably actually 9 a.m. We've got to get out there and see if we can get some fish. But first I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. Oh, that's really good. We're hoping the morning time works in our favor. Unfortunately, it's 10 o'clock. We slept in this morning, but I just cast in those weeds and I had one take my little frog under, but it got off. So this might be a good little channel we're in here. Let's see if I can get them. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I got one on. Oh, dang it, he's off. Took a long time to hook one. I reverted back to the rubber mouse. I think I'm gonna keep this one on for a while. We're eating that one. We can't chance it out here, okay? We were having fish tacos tonight and we need a fish, so we're <laughs> eating dinner tonight. <laughs> Another one. A little bit bigger, right? I think it's a little bigger. You wanna keep that one? Yeah. Yes. We just doubled up and we didn't film it because we were both fishing. Ariel's was Ariel's was big. That was probably like a 24 incher. She got it to the side of the boat and it spit the mouse out. I switched to this little rattler mouse with a treble hook. Just landed this nice one. That's probably like an 18 incher. The fishing's getting pretty good. It's getting pretty good, Daryl. That was extremely disappointing. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna try to get my stuff back in there and see if I can catch another one. He was gorgeous. Get, get it tight and yank it. He swallowed it. He swallowed it? 
he wanted it. It's that big one. It's that same one. He had it pretty deep. Is he still on? Yeah, you see the line moving? He's swallowing it or something. See him taking it? See the line? Hook him, Meryl. Got him. I got him. I don't know why that was so stressful. That's he's, a big one. He's nice. He's a nice size. This fish was taking the lure and he was eating it. You could feel him like swallowing it more and more. So I know it's in there well. He ate the whole thing. He ate the whole mouse. I wanted to wait till he really took it in. He's a skinny one, but he's a good sized fish. I think he's over 24 inches, but this is more of what we're after. We need them to be kind of fat or long to get good, nice chunks for our pickle pike. I ate the wrong mouse today. <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying this, but we lost our fish. And I don't really know what happened. Never made a mistake in the 15 years we've been together fishing. Uh, Eric had tied a knot on the fish with our paracord and maybe about not even less than a minute, you know, I circled, we were cruising along the shoreline and I didn't see the stringer anymore. Um, so that's never good. And so we went back to the spot, we let it clear up check for them. They were definitely dispatched, so I don't think they like swam off or anything, but we think Eric knows he tied it. We think what happened was as I spun around and started to go a little bit faster right in this section, they fell off in the deeper water. So we've retraced our steps multiple times to look for them and we are not finding them, which is horrible. It's atrocious. It's a horrible feeling, honestly, because we don't get to keep those fish and now they're just sitting at the bottom of the lake something hopefully we'll eat them but we don't have paracord and we don't have fish so we gotta we gotta start over and I guess learn from our mistakes he's on he's on oh nice one it's a really nice one grab the leader maybe grab by the leader oh yes that's a nice little chunky one. Oh my gosh he bit right away he ain't right away the bite's getting warmer Otter. <laughs> the bite's getting better. Probably gonna feel bad about those fish all day, but good job, look at that. See, see how he ate it? We find that we're letting them kind of like really take the lure down. I need your pliers. We're having some trouble with those weedless lures at first, but now that we figured out, you gotta let them kind of take it for a while and then set the hook. Yay. Good job. Okay, Do you need Yes, that's a good one. We're making up for those fish that we lost. That was horrible, but we're getting more. That's a nice one. That's probably a 20 incher. He's on there, yeah. Oh yeah. He's a little guy, but he's a pretty funny hunk. That's the frog. We changed right over to that and that, that was what he wanted. Nice fish, Earl. He was eating shrimp. Cool. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh my gosh. Barely, barely hooked. Up. Got some salmon dip for lunch and it is smoked salmon, smoked sockeye salmon. I put baby bok choy in there and chives and a whole bunch of other herbs and then kefir cheese. And so it's really, really good. Check that out. Ooh. That looks really good. Thank you. Well, we just saw a monster pike and we were coasting along in about four feet of water. I saw him on the side of the boat. Unfortunately, I had the little mouse lure on, that was it. And he wasn't interested in it. And he kind of just slowly swam off. So I switched to this huge uh, lure here and we're trying to see if we can entice him, but we don't know where he's at, but we know there's a big one in this area. Another pretty good size one. That one had a big appetite. It bit that big like eight inch orange lure I got on there. I've been seeing some big fish go after that thing. Just have not hooked one yet. Ugh.
go. Keep them cold. Anybody home? What up, crew? It's time to process our fish. Or maybe just one fish. We're having fish tacos tonight. We're working our way down the trail to the boat. And last time we were here, we actually cut in a whole new trail that goes to the other side of the cabin. It's not as steep, but it is a lot longer. So it's probably about three times as long as this trail. So the trail we cut in last time we were here, that's strictly for winter use. This one's steep, but it's short. So we're almost there. Let you guys in on a little secret. There is an art to filleting pike to get nice boneless fillets. An art or a skill that I don't have. I've watched videos on how to do it. I just have not gotten it yet. So my go-to method is just to cut the sides off of them in nice big fillets, cook them up, and then pull the bones out. And I think we're good to go. Let's head up. Well, I almost had another one and it's just too much fun fishing for this pike. So in celebration of summer solstice, which is the longest day of the year, that's a week away, we're gonna go night fishing. But it's not really night fishing because it's still gonna be light out. Let's go eat some dinner first. Come on, man. Look good to you too, Bandit? Thank you. I already tasted it before I ate it. It's delicious. That's good. It's a great stove. It's old. <laughs> it gets going on us a little. Okay, let that go for a second. That delicious pike, crispy, and we got homemade green salsa. We got a red onion and a little squeeze of lime. Sorry, Ariel, this one's for me. Fresh fish taco, that is amazing. Have a bite, baby. Let's make another. This is the meal we were gonna eat last time we came out. It's very exciting to have it now and it is superb, it is perfect. Pike is already a delicious fish, literally just cooked by itself, like with no butter or anything like that. It, it has a really good flavor, but with all that seasoning and stuff too in this combination, it's delightful. Old school hand powered weed whacker. This thing came with our cabin when we bought it and it was pretty awesome. 
It takes a lot of work, but all I did was just go up our little trail, clear like a five foot wide section. That way next time we come out here, we'll actually be able to see our trail and the grass won't be too tall. But uh, let's go fishing. Yeah, he's on there. He's biting there. He's eating it. It's the duck though. I don't know when I should set it. It's the duck? Yeah, it's the duck. The rubber duck? Which yeah. duck? Dang. Just had a bite on the black rubber duck. We're at a different lake, closer one that's a lot smaller. I got the black rubber duck on. <laughs> he's right behind it. He's going for it. There he goes. He got it. Let him. You know what I did, Eric? Last time I gave him slack. I literally opened up my. Slack. He has slack. Definitely on. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh my. Let him, let him, let him. Sorry, I'm like, just want to get them to the freaking boat, man. Do you have the net? He's a nice one. Get that net out. Okay, maybe it's not that big. Okay. He's a nice one. Okay. Yay! Good catch, Your First Earl. successful one for the night. Oh, that's a big one. Yay! Got it. Oh, that's a big one. Net? Ooh. Net? Net? Here. That's a nice size one. Here, here, here. I can get him if you want. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here. 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 There you go. There you go. Babe, that's a great one. Oh yes. Heck yeah. <laughs> Freaking take. That thing is heavy. Oh my gosh. Nice job. Gotta get him out and check him out. Nine o'clock exactly. Good job. That might be the, that's definitely the heaviest one I've ever caught. <gasps> his face. He is so heavy. Look at his face. On the duck. I bet that's oh my god, he's now. huge. Can you take that net away? Oh my gosh. I'm glad we came back out again. Good job. That thing, it's so, it's like, it's not that long. It's pretty long, but it's so heavy and fat. I've never seen a head that big on one. <sighs> that's him. Or her. I just, <laughs> it see, is heavy. You see the head on her. It was so heavy. It was, was the only one that actually like swallowed the duck. The duck was just too big for all the other ones I was trying to catch. We've never fished this exact spot. Boated by it a bunch. And I'm glad we stopped. This Check thing that. is awesome. Look at the teeth. I think we should cast out another one. There could be some big ones in here. Yeah. Oh, you only caught a big one already. Gosh, that thing's huge. That's a good one. This is crazy. We've just been hitting this shoreline. Last night, this is when we gave up. We were like, it's nine o'clock. Let's go back. Today, the bite is on. This is awesome fishing and they're big fish. Nice looking fish, right? You didn't set it? I'm gonna set it though right now. Like, oh, dang it. <laughs> that was a big one. That was a really big one. Dang it. That's a good size one. That wasn't a big one though. Oh, I hooked him on the side of the mouth. Giving us nothing to start with, but... <laughs> he's now has something to show for it. Well, look, his foot is gone. He's footless. He's footless. One of the... That last one I caught before this one took his foot. I'm liking this little duck. I bent the hooks out a tiny bit, and I'm getting way better set up on this. Let's see if I can get that big one again. So we got this duck last time, last year actually. It's a little baby duck, kind of looks like a mallard. Um, it seems like they respond most to the rodents that we've been using out here, next to the frogs, and maybe a little bit the ducks. This one's pretty big, but we have only had big ones out here tonight. I don't know what happened, if it's a weather change or what, but they're out here, that's for sure. I have my eyelids closed and I can see them through my eyelids. Do you know what I mean? How you can see like the shadow? Oh, there's probably a thousand around here. There's an otter or a beaver over there. 
swimming straight towards us. Oh my God, we're right by the dam. We get this question a lot. Are the mosquitoes really that bad in the Alaska? And the answer is yes, depending upon where you go. It's obviously really late. I think we're nearing 11 p.m. That was really neat, that little beaver. I think it was a baby. It just went back to its home. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. Probably gonna be fishing for just a little bit longer though. Do you see all of them? All right, awesome night of fishing. It is officially 11 p.m. We got those two more fish, that one big one, and uh, had a lot of bites. Hooks and fish I got off. Awesome night, but these mosquitoes, <laughs> they're bad. They're real bad. Let's go back to the cabin. Bursa right there. That's a fat pike right there. Hey, we can measure it. I guess it's not the biggest one we've ever caught. It's this ties with the biggest one we've ever caught, which was ice fishing. And that was 27 to 28. And that's this size too, but it's still a beast. And that's awesome. Cause that's what we came for. Well, it's midnight. It's still light out. Awesome day. Awesome trip. We're leaving tomorrow morning. But uh, we're gonna hit the sack, brush our teeth real quick. Good morning, Eric and I are all packed up and sadly our trip has come to an end. We have to bring everything down to the boat. We have to spray down some pine sole for bear protection. And we also have to sweep and clean up a little bit inside. This is just a uh, pine sole that's watered down, but we actually leave it really super concentrated because we want it to be strong. Bears do not like the smell of this one, just the original formula. The main thing we do to avoid bear issues is actually leave no food. We legitimately have one bag of brown rice for emergencies. So there's no food, no sort of other odors, human products, things like that. And we're gonna spray a bunch of this outside too. Get you home, man. All right, you ready? Let's hit it. And the... Come on, dogs. Okay. Mosquitoes this trip. Some of the worst we've actually ever been in. It's, uh, they're really out. And it rained last night. It wasn't calling for rain. At least we don't think it was, but it was raining pretty good last night, so. Everything's wet. We're gonna change into waders for the portion that's right here, the uh, really rocky creek. And we're gonna walk the boat down. Last time I was a little overconfident and I tried to drive the boat down and I hit a big rock and put a big dent in our boat. So we're not doing that again. So we'll put on our waders, we'll get the boat down to the main river, change back into some normal clothes. And I'm hoping for no rain on the way home because uh, Pretty painful when it hits you in the face you're doing 30 miles an hour in a boat. But let's get loaded up. Okay, let me get things organized in here for a second. It was a great trip. We came, we conquered, I'd like to say. Eric caught a good, really good sized pike. I know there's bigger ones out there. We may look into spearfishing because we saw, we saw some bigger ones than that one. And I know Eric saw another human thigh. I didn't get to witness it though. And we do have plans to come back and hopefully build that outhouse this summer. We're gonna have to come back for quite some time. Hopefully when there's not so many mosquitoes. Oh. 